Any news of the Alakir? What? How? I thought they weren't allowed within the city. But where will I go? I can't keep running forever. After all this, I have to pick up and leave again? If you really think this is the only way, I trust you. Let's not waste any time. We meet at last, my dear lady. What is this? What have you done? Oh, come now. You didn't really expect to manipulate people forever, did you? Your luck had to run out sometime. Any news of the Alakir? You liar! How could you do that to me? You could have warned me you were baiting me into a trap. But you're right. This should scatter the rest of them. I can go back to my life for now. You have my thanks. Come to see Balaman perform miracles with steel, eh? If you need any more smithing work, come see me again. Have you met Balaman? I'm his apprentice. He's teaching me all about being a blacksmith. I used to live at the orphanage here in Riften. Gorlad said my ma and my da left me there when I was a baby. They didn't want me. Balaman took me in and has been so kind to me. I don't know why, but he thinks I could be a great blacksmith like him. At first, I don't know why he picked me. I never even held a hammer in my life. But the first time I picked it up, it just felt right. Folks in town say that Balamond is the greatest blacksmith in all of Tamriel. I hope I can live up to that someday and make him proud of me. Ah. Oh no, by the gods, this can't be happening. Oh. What I was apprenticed to Balamund before he died. He taught me everything I know about forging armor and weapons. Balamund pulled me out of Greylord's orphanage when I was just a child. I don't know what he saw in me, but I was glad to get out of there. I spent years watching his techniques and learning his tricks. Sadly, I don't think I'll ever be as talented as he was. Ah! Hey, watch! Never shoot up. Curse you for bringing up that bitter memory. Not long ago, it was my husband, Eorlund. There was no finer smith in the Nine Holds. Now he's dead and gone. And the Skyforge of Yorasker lies cold. Tacitus, what is this? Uh... A nail? Is that what you call it? In the Legion, we would have called it useless. Look how brittle the metal is. I... I'm sorry. I just... well... the forge gets so hot and I thought... You thought what? You would skip a step? Not heat the metal all the way through? Useless. Now do it again. Need a new blade? Tacitus? Boy's an Imperial. I keep showing him how to treat the iron, but he never gets it. In the Legion, the Imperial Smiths used to read books when they couldn't set their hammers straight. Wisdom of the old, I guess. Gorza is the one you should ask if you need anything. I'm not very good for anything more than smithing nails right now. One time, I almost cut a finger off sharpening a blade. Ugh, I hate blood. Hmm. Uh -oh. I run the forge now. Kind of scary.
Thanks to you, the people of Skyrim will continue to have a place to study magic, even if most of them resent you for it. I'm sorry, but you've been suspended from the college. I can't be seen talking to you right now. Ah, yes. There was an incident, wasn't there? Well, as this is the first time this has happened, I'll make it very clear that the college does not condone that sort of behavior. As an act of good faith on your part, I'd advise that you consider donating an amount of gold to the college. Strictly to cover damages, you understand. I believe 250 gold should be sufficient. Oh, excellent. I'll see that it gets where it needs to go, and I'll make sure the suspension is lifted. I'm glad we were able to clear this matter up, and I do hope we don't need to have this talk again. All right, then. Now that Sibyl Stentor is out of the picture, I am indeed. And the court is, well, free of her eccentricities. Moving into her quarters was an interesting process. You are free to leave. You want something from me? It does indeed. You know, I hear you had something to do with Sibyl Stentor's demise. That must have been a hard bit of business. I hear Stentor had been alive for a long, long time. You have done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about. You have earned the right to call yourself my champion. And now you must perform the task for which I created you. You have already proven to possess the needed skills. Go to solitude, stalk the Jarl, and slay her. I have spread rumors of an assassin. It will make your job harder, but will allow me to place blame where I desire it. You will need stealth and lies to get past her guards. You will assassinate her swiftly and quietly. And if combat finds you, survive the escape. Succeed, and you may keep your title and my armor. And I shall write your name upon the tablet of absolute blackness. Failure is not an option. I've been instructed to tell all visitors that the Lady Elisif isn't feeling well. She wishes you a good day, and please call again another time. I'm afraid you'll have to come back later. I've been given strict instructions that no one be allowed to trouble Lady Elisif. Yes, the steward is taking visitors. However, I must accompany you at all times while on the royal premises. I suppose you're free to frolic with the wenches in the servants' quarters, but anywhere else, you must have an escort. Jarl's orders. If there's someone in the palace who can speak for you and wouldn't mind walking you around, great. Lead me to him. Stay close and in plain view. No funny business unless you want a few inches of steel in your belly. Go to thinking. Maybe I'm the Dragonborn. I'm not taking any visitors. Just... Leave me alone! Please, just go away. My lady, surely you're not that naive. Such foolishness will only leave us defenseless. Mate, do you have business with the court? The she's telling everyone she's the sick. But she's really locked herself in her room because she fears an assassin is out to get her. Game. I know. The poor girl's fright has left her bereft of reason. But there's no talking her out of it. I fear she'll be locked in there for days. 
I bet she would feel safer. And hopefully you wouldn't have to babysit her for long. Once she calms down, she might start thinking straight again. Let's go talk with her. Stay close. Talk of assassins has the guards jumpy. They might attack you if you're not standing near me. The Imperials are good. Alisif? Go away. Please. I've brought you a friend. Someone who can help. A bodyguard. To protect you. I thought you didn't believe I was in danger. It doesn't really matter what I believe now, does it? I've brought you someone who can protect you. That's what you want, isn't it? Stop. Done well, my champion. You have earned my respect. A feat few manage and live to tell about it. Now go. I have strings to pull that require my full attention. You may pursue your own course wherever it leads you. Remember always this. You need answer to no authority, neither mortal nor divine. As you will it, so it shall be. The time comes soon, when... What? Who are you to dare set foot here? Ah, you are Dragonborn. I can feel it. And yet... You have done little beyond killing a few dragons. You have no idea of the true power a Dragonborn can wield. you to dare set foot here. Ah. You are Dragonborn. I can feel it. And yet... So you have slain Alduin. Well done. I could have slain him myself back when I walked the earth. But I chose a different path. Achiever. Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? Well, well. Aren't we the overachiever? Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? Here for work. Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Thank you for saving me from Alva. I was completely under her evil spell. I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Helgi and my wife. I... I'm not one for talk. Try to keep to myself. 
I just try and do my job and not think about what's happened. Try to find what happiness I can.